Welcome everyone to JTW Live. It is the go home show for WrestleMania and tonight we are kicking things off with our newly announced general manager, the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! What's the nature boy got to say here tonight? He's addressing the Money in the Bank ladder match straight away. Going to announce who's on JTW Live that's going to be in that match. Roman Reigns, Jeff Hardy, Samoa Joe, Edge and Kevin Owens. Wow! This is an all-star Money in the Bank ladder match. And a contract signing, but the number one contender for the IC title, Daniel Bryan interrupting Ric Flair. Is that really the best thing to do? I'm a bit unsure about this decision. Ric Flair saying go ahead, giving Brian the go ahead for the interruption. Brian saying how every time he gets close to the Intercontinental title it just slips away. But last week he won a Battle Royal and now at WrestleMania he's promising the JTW fans that he's going to win that title from Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. But the Heartbreak Kid is not going to be too pleased about that statement there by the American Dragon. HBK saying, who the hell do you think you are? Sean's so full of himself. Saying he's better than Daniel Bryan, better looking than Daniel Bryan. It's not about looks in this industry, it's about how good you are. Daniel Bryan, damn right. William Regal was the one that trained Shawn Michaels. Uh, that trained Daniel Bryan, sorry. Not Shawn Michaels. Ryan promising to take that title at Mania. And there's nothing that Sean can do to stop it. We'll be looking forward to that match on the WrestleMania card. And here we go. I guess the participants in the JTW Money in the Bank ladder match are going to be coming out to talk about it. Starting things off, Kevin Owens saying that this is the Kevin Owens show. And this year will be KO Mania. Owen's making quite a promise uh, promise here. But not for long. A charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy might have something to say about that. Obviously, Jeff and his brother Matt helped innovate the ladder match. As Jeff is saying, he does specialise in ladder matches. It's the Hardy Boys is match type. As we saw in the first TLC match, the Hardy Boys picked the, ta uh, picked the ladders, Dudley's picked the tables, and Edge and Christian picked chairs. And here comes the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. Oh! What is it with Samoa Joe and the constant shots at Jeff's background? He's overcome the alcoholism now. I think. Samoa Joe promising that he will be the one to yank down that briefcase. But the big dog might have something to say about that. i got a feeling that this is how it's going to keep going all night long. Participants of the Money in the Bank match are going to keep coming out. Roman Reigns has been in multiple Money in the Bank ladder matches. Not for this company. It is the first JTW ladder match for, J uh, for JTW. But other companies of course have had Money in the Bank ladder matches. And Roman's has been participant. You you know but he's it. never won one. And and speaking of winning one, this man has won two of them. The rated R Superstar Edge has to be going into this Money in the Bank match at WrestleMania with the clear advantage. Edge saying he's done talking, he's done bickering. He's saying let's fight right now. Oh, I'm down for that Edge. Let's go. Kevin Owens trying to retreat. Edge has got a, a ladder and... Oh, he just decked Roman Reigns with a ladder and Samoa Joe with a sent on. Oh, Edge speared Jeff Hardy into another ladder. Powerbomb by Kevin Owens. Edge reverses into a spear on the ladder. Edge, grab that ladder and show that you can become a three-time Mr. Money in the Bank. And he's got it. Will that be the same at WrestleMania? But we are moving on, ladies and gentlemen. This impromptu match between Sami Zayn 
and The Miz. Both these men will be competing in the WrestleMania Battle Royal. One of these men going to try and gain a slight advantage, maybe. Whether it's going to be The Miz or Sami Zayn, we are yet to find out. And the ref has rung the bell. Here we go. Oh, and The Miz just running his mouth as always. Saying he should not be in this match. He should be preparing. Blah, blah, blah. Sammy, shut him up, please. Oh, and Zayn with a slap to the face to The Miz. I would have done the exact same thing. Here we go. Locking things up. Side headlock take down by Sami Zayn. Getting that rest lock on. Going for the cross face. No. Miz reverses it. Oh, he's got him in a roll up. One. Twos. And Sammy reverses it into one of his own. Kick out. Zayn in the corner. Miz with a running clothesline. What's he going for now? Oh, springboard. Double axe handle by the Miz. Not often he pulls that one out. Going for that DDT. That snap DDT. Sammy Zayn reverses. Northern Lights suplex into a cover. One, two. And oh, the Miz kicks out barely. Rolling him up once again. Miz with these constant roll-ups. What's the point? Oh, skull crushing finale. Jesus, out of nowhere. One, two, three. The Miz has won. Wow, that skull crushing finale came from literally out of nowhere, Miz pointing at the Wrestlemania trophy, and it's time ladies and gentlemen for the last segment of our show, the contract signing between Triple H and Finn Balor, these two have been feuding since Survivor Series, obviously if you're unfamiliar with what actually happened, these two were the sole survivors for Team JTW Live and actually won the match, however Triple H decided for some god unknown reason to pedigree Finn Balor after the match and issue a statement. I personally believe that Triple H wanted to show that he is the only sole survivor, but Finn did not take it lightly. Finn has been getting Triple H back since. They battled in the Rumble, they battled on the shows, and now they're going to battle on the bright lights of WrestleMania. But this contract must be signed so it can be a no disqualification match. Both these men are going to be putting their bodies on the line. Oh, Finn going to say he wants to teach this prick a lesson. Triple H just standing there smirking. Finn has signed the contract. Just got to get that signature from Triple H and it's all done and he's signed. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and easy. No trouble. What's... Oh, I spoke too soon. Triple H decked Finn with the microphone. But what's Finn Balor going for? And Finn just sent Triple H crashing through the table saying you will see him at Mania. Wow. Go Home Show has been impactful. We will see you at WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching.